Hello, we're excited to be sharing an update to our school's academic logo and overall brand suite as we seek greater alignment between who we are as a school and how we present that in a crest and other images that we put on various Providence materials. So, as we're about to enter our school's fourth decade of existence, approaching our 30 year anniversary, there are many exciting changes and opportunities on the horizon, uh, an enthusiastic and growing community, search for our next home, uniform updates, and an ever-deepening commitment to our vision. So we hope that this new brand update will be of encouragement to you as we find it reflects our continued efforts to better represent our classical Christian ideals in every aspect of our school, from our guiding principles in the vision document all the way down into even small things like branding, logos, and our crest. So the outline of this brief video will include the following kind of three topics. One is the history of the Providence Crest and brand prior to this change. And then also the process and rationale of a change like this and this specific change. And then of course the details on all of the specific updates to the brand highlighting what is changing and what is staying the same. So in terms of the history, uh, to note, we originally, prior to our current name, were named Providence Christian Academy, uh, and our crest was a red shield with the key and quill. So if you think of our current crest, just the shield alone without the other flourishes surrounding it was our crest uh, prior to 2008. So there, during the discussion in the last brand update in 2008, there was a desire among the board to simplify the name just to Providence Academy. But there was also this other desire to highlight our classical distinctives in a pivotal moment when the life of the school uh, was becoming classical in its approach uh, more fully and formally. And we wanted to make sure that was clear and central to our identity. Thus, the board approved the name change to Providence Classical Christian Academy, which included both of those key distinctives. Now, 15 years after that change, uh, we've decided to revisit such things in the academic brand and update it to embody our school's mission and values such as they are and will continue to be on into the future. So in terms of process, decisions about the school's name and the logo and academic brand ultimately rest with the board. Uh, the administration does not have the authority to make such changes. Uh, that authority is the board's authority. So the administration, in collaboration with the board, has been considering updating the name and logo for some time, uh, and we were moved to action at this particular time by the considerations related to conversations happening in the uniform committee. So particularly the desire to include the school's identity on the uniform itself uh, with embroidered uh, embroideries on the top pieces of our uniforms. And this led to a conversation that spanned the last several months, zeroing in on an update to our school's name and look in conjunction with proposed uniform changes. It became clear to the board and to the administration as we consider the transitions of the next year or so that now is the ideal time to make such changes. So next will be more details on what those specific changes will and won't be and what the rollout of those changes in the timeline would end up being also. On this slide, you can see our current primary logo and letterhead. And as we considered updating our current academic brand, we knew there were certain things that we uh, really desired to keep. Obviously, our identity is Providence, the school that we're known as and have been known as for our entire history. Uh, blue is our primary color. It's been our primary color uh, for the better part of the last 15 years, and so we intended to keep that. Um, and then our crest with its symbolism of the key and the quill and the cross all felt like they really did embody the ethos of our school, our culture, our vision. And so uh, we, we desired to keep those as well. And then classical and Christian as two of our key components of our brand and our vision. And so with those things in mind, uh, we have made the following changes. And you can see the new uh, logo and new primary logo and letterhead here. The new logo is similar in many ways to our current logo. You can see the key, the quill, and the cross featured on the crest. The main typeface remains Trajan Pro. The secondary typeface uh, remains Calibri. But you also might notice some changes. You might notice the tweak to the colors, some details in the crest design, and along, along with that, uh, an alteration and simplification of the school's name. 
So we'll look at those changes individually. First, the board has approved a change to the school's formal name from Providence Classical Christian Academy to simply Providence Academy. Our Crest language reflects the new simplified name and the name will have this tagline of a classical Christian school as seen underneath the large Providence lettering in the primary logo. We anticipate that the most common way that families inside and outside the school would be uh, would refer to the school is simply by Providence, which we think is actually typically how families refer to us uh, most commonly now. Now there are a few different reasons for the school name change. Uh, our school's name was a mouthful, as any of us who have had to explain what school they attend, teach at, or send their kids to um, can attest. And the simplified name is easier for people to remember, especially outsiders who haven't heard of our school before, and it's simpler to use for those who are already in our community. We also believe that our classical and Christian identity is so clearly embedded in our vision, mission, and culture that it doesn't need to be in the formal name of the school itself in order for it to be a key and intrinsic part of who we are. And it does, again, remain in the primary logo. And so if somebody who visits our website or looks at promotional material, there's not going to be any question about whether we're a classical or Christian school. It will remain front and center on all of our key uh, promotional material. The second major update was to the school's crest. And you'll notice, uh, notice the simplified name is reflected on the crest, Providence on the top and Academy underneath. And this makes it easier to read from a distance on fabric and when the crest is printed in smaller sizes. And then second and most obvious uh, change to the crest are perhaps the color tweaks that you see. So historically, our school colors have been blue, gold, and red, as seen in the 2009 crest. The blue on the crest, on the original crest, is a bright blue, but then the uniform, spirit wear, and academics uh, all represent that blue as a navy or have for the past many years. The new crest and overall branding trades that bright blue for a true navy, so that as we're wearing navy in all of our clothing and spirit wear, um, athletic uniforms, it aligns very closely with the actual color of our crest. The cross behind the crest uh, is called gold in our original branding materials from 2008, but if you look at it, it's actually much more of an orange. And so the new crest and brand trades that orangey yellow for a more true gold color. In order to simplify the appearance of the crest and allow it to be printed against a greater variety of colors in both print and fabric, we've actually chosen to drop red from the crest and brand altogether to offer a more clean and simplified look. In exchange for dropping red as an accent color, we're adding light blue into the branding scheme as a, as a pretty minor accent color. It's not going to show up in the crest itself, but it might show up as a secondary accent color on the website or other printed material. And so the overall look of the crest in one sense is very similar to the previous crest, but with its tweaks, it's slightly more simplified and features the two uh, major colors of navy and gold. You can see the particular colors that we're planning on using going forward here. Uh, Nonobis Navy will be the school's primary color. White is the light contrasting primary color. And then we have these two accent colors, true gold and light blue. The last major update uh, and final significant update of our academic brand is what we're calling the Providence Monogram. This is a new and third uh, distinct logo that's separate from the crest and has a very particular purpose, uh, which is that the monogram will be used as embroidery or for embroidery on uniform pieces in order to set the uniform apart and give a visible and uniquely branded look to our uniform tops. Now we chose to develop the monogram instead of simply using the crest for this purpose because the crest's detail don't show up as well on embroidery. The, mo the monogram is a more simple, but also still classy way for people to identify our uniform with our school. And that monogram can show up in uh, a couple different ways. More details on how it's going to be implemented in the particular updated uniform policy is going to be coming in the future. But you can see even here some mock-ups for how that monogram might look in the various color, uh, various brand colors and against these different backgrounds. Well, as we conclude, I want to make a couple comments about the rollout and implementation of our new name and brand look. 
Uh, that rollout and implementation is going to occur over the course of the next 14 months with the goal of having everything shifted over for the start of the 24-25 academic year. We anticipate that you'll begin seeing some things switch over as soon as this summer, while most things will probably wait until next school year. We do encourage you to take a look through um, our branding documents and look at things in greater detail. Questions and feedback are always welcome. Uh, you can reach out to board members as you wish, uh, and Mr. Buckles and I are always happy to receive and engage with members of our community on these matters. Well, thank you for taking time to check out the video, for and most especially for being part of this amazing community that is Providence. Uh, we are excited for what is to come and pray the Lord's blessing on all the transitions and um, opportunities that lie before us. Thank you.